Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do a listen 2.3 multiply tens, hundreds and thousands and our essential question is how does understanding place value help you multiply tens, hundreds and thousands? So let's unlock the problem. Each car on a train has 200 seats. How many seats are on a train with 8 cars? So each car, so the first car has 200 seats, the second car has 200 seats, and so on. So here it means repeated addition or multiplication. So instead of adding 200 plus 200 plus 200 plus 208 times, we can just multiply 8 by 200. Okay, so one way we will draw a quick picture. Okay, so we have 8 times 200. So 200 are two flats. So this is the first car, the second car, the third car, the fourth car, the fifth car, the sixth car, the seventh car, the eighth car. So here are the eight cars. Each car has 200. Okay, so here also we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 flats or 10 hundreds are actually the cube or 1000. Okay, so here we have 1000 and we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 flats, which they are 6 hundreds. So we have 1000 and 6 hundred. So 1000 plus 600 is actually 1600. Another way we can use place value. Okay, so we will keep the 8, 8 times 200. We can write it 2 in digits and hundreds like this. So it's 200. So here we can multiply 8 by 2. 8 times 2 is 16. So it's 16 hundreds. We know that 16 hundreds. We can write it like this, 16, and the word hundreds, we said it can be two zeros. So, if you remember guys, we said tens means one zero, hundreds means two zeros, thousands means three zeros, ten thousands means four zeros, and so on. So there are 1,600 seats on a train with eight cars. Okay, so if you got it guys, eight times 200. We can simply do it like this. We multiply the 8 by 2. The 8 by 2 is 16. And we just write the zeros. So we write the zeros. So it will be 1600. So you multiply 8 by 2 first, then write the zeros. Okay, other ways, use a number line. Bob's sled shop rents 4,000 sleds each month. How many sleds does the store rent in six months? Okay, so the first month is 4,000. The second month, 4,000. The third month, 4,000, and so on. So instead of adding 4,000 six times, we can just multiply six by 4,000. So here we will use the number line. So multiplication can be thought of as repeated addition. Draw jumps to show the product. So six times four, it means we will add four six times. So we start with the zero and add four. We have four plus another four, it will be eight. Another four, 12, 16, 20, 24 and here we added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4s. So 6 times 4 is 24. What about 6 times 40? So first time we will add 40. So 0 plus 40, 40 plus another 40, it will be 80. Another 40, it will be 120 plus another 40. It will be 160 plus another 40. It will be 200 plus another 40. It will be 240. So 6 times 40 equals 240. The difference here 
that we added zero here so we just put zero to the right of the four it became 40. so what happened in the product that we found the same zero to the right okay so let's see if we put two zeros so six times 400 we will find that two zeros will appear on the product okay so if you use the number line adding 400s also you will get you will get 2400 so two zeros here two zeros in the product okay if you multiply six by four thousand means you have three zeros here if you use the number line adding four thousands each time you will get twenty four thousand which means that you will have three zeros in the product okay so it's like you're multiplying six by four at all of these problems but you just write the number of zeros which the four has so here we have one zero so we write one zero it become 240 here we have two zeros we write at the product two zeros here we have three zeros we write at the product three zeros okay so the question was six times four thousand which is twenty four thousand so above sledge or print twenty four thousand sleds in six months okay here use patterns so basic fact three times seven is 21 so the basic fact is the multiplication equation which we have from the multiplication table so we know that three times seven is 21 if the seven became 70 it means we bought zero to the right so the product should have this zero so it's 210 here three times seven is 21 we have two zeros we bought them at the product here three times seven again 21 and here we have three zeros we bought them in the product okay here basic fact with a zero so okay so some numbers in the multiplication table has zero at the product like eight times five so eight times five is 40 okay so if it's eight times 50 remember we already have 40 we have only one zero from the basic fact okay so we will add the zero or we will put the zero of the 50 out so it became 400 okay so here notice guys we have only one zero at the problem but we have two zeros at the product because already the basic fact 8 times 5 is 40 it has one zero okay guys so i advise you to multiply first then write the zeros so here i multiply 8 by 5 40 then i put the one zero okay here 8 times 5 is also 40 and then i'll put the two zeros let me write them in another color so it's a four thousand okay here eight times five four again but here we have five thousand which has three zeros so i should write three zeros so it's forty thousand okay here he asks how does the number of zeros in the product of eight times five thousand compare to the number of zeros in the factors okay so eight times five thousand we have only three zeros but in the product we have four zeros because be, because we actually have one zero from eight times five which is 40 because the basic fact already has one zero okay now for share and show use the drawing to find two times 500 okay so here is one two three four five hundreds and another 500 okay so 2 times 500 we can multiply using the basic fact 2 times 5 so first 2 times 5 is 10 then we have two zeros so we write the two zeros so it became 1000 okay complete the pattern 3 times 8 it's 24 here 3 times 80 so we multiply 3 by 8 3 times 8 is 24 and we write this zero so 240 here again three times eight it's 24 but here we have two zeros so we write two zeros so it's 2400 here three times eight thousand so three times eight is 24 
and we have three zeros we write them in the product so 24,000 here 6 times 2 it's 12 but 6 times 20 6 times 2 it's 12 and I should write this one zero so it's 120 6 times 200 6 times 2 it's 12 and we have two zeros so 1200 6 times 2000 so 6 times 2 it's 12 and we should write these three zeros so it's a 12,000 here 4 times 5 it's a 20 4 times 50 we should multiply first 4 times 5 which is 20 but we have 0 here we should write it in the product here 4 times 500 so 4 times 5 is 20 and we have two zeros here write them in the product so it's 2000 4 times 5000 so 4 times 5 it's a 20 and we have three zeros so we write them so we have 20,000 okay find the product 6 times 500 equals 6 times what 100 it's 6 times 500 okay we can keep the word hundreds and just multiply the 6 by 5 now so 6 times 5 is 30 we can write just the 30 and the word hundreds means two zeros remember tens means one zero hundreds means two zeros so I should write two zeros here so it's a 3000 okay or we can say that 6 times 5 is 30 and we have two zeros to write them here 9 times 5 thousands so it's equal to 9 times what thousands it's 5 thousands so here 9 times 5 is 45 so 45,000 so you can write just the 45 and thousands means three zeros so I should write three zeros okay guys hope you enjoyed this lesson have a nice day and goodbye